Good morning. All right, it's gorgeous. It's uh, 51 and the uh, sun is out. It's supposed to cloud over in a little while though, so I'm gonna make sure the solar panels are charging up the batteries for the electric fence. That all is well there, but otherwise, uh, just kind of hit some chores this morning and then uh, yeah, it's looking good out there. This morning, huh? Yeah. 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 Are you keeping us mouse free out here, huh? huh? Doing your job. How are the girls doing here? Always hiding in the corner. Okay. There's only ten of them. It's pretty funny because they different between boys and girls. They eat so sparingly compared to the meat birds and they drink so sparingly. So what they have tends to last much longer. Whereas with those guys, you know, it's a constant challenge just to keep enough food in front of them. I've had them for three weeks. It's almost time to put them out here with the others. Hello, how are we doing this morning? I'm not gonna move them yet. I move them every day, but uh, right now the grass is still really wet and I wanna give it a chance to dry out a little bit so I'm not moving these guys onto cold, wet ground. I think it'll be healthier for them. I know I wouldn't like it. I was a chicken. <laughs> I'm gonna Keep working back here, just slowly clearing out that area. I got a lot to clear out everywhere. It's a long time ago, this was a farm, but it's a couple generations now. So there's a lot of trees and scrub and everything else that started growing up in places that are supposed to be open and pasture. Working on getting that back a little bit. See what's happening out uh, here on the edge of the wetland on this side. Quiet out there this morning. It's very pretty, it's very tranquil. And the entirety of that wetland is on our property. Yeah, it's very pretty. Well, uh, I'm eventually working on opening some of this up too so we can sort of see it from our yard. Right now it's very obscured by the this growth. Actually this is really the time of year to do it down here too because you know stuff's not fighting back the way it does in spring, summer, fall, you know pretty much the rest of the year. It's just kind of the morning routine. We, I come out I do some chores and I walk a bit and just uh, see what's happening. Hey, what's happening over here? I am getting uh, 
crazy with oranges. It's so... So heavy with fruit. And it's just... Uh, They're not like really tasty oranges though. They taste like marmalade. I think they're Seville oranges. So the flavor is a bit bitter. It's supposed to have some really good properties though, very healthy. They're uh, ironically, I mean, they're bitter and they, what they're supposed to be incredible for, you know, if you have diabetes, because they help like extract, I don't know how it works, extract excess, excess sugars or something, I don't know supposed to be really good for if you're diabetic but on the flip side is nobody wants to eat them unless they add sugar now this side this part over here i used to have this opened up i had this all cut back got overcome by events had some life things happening couldn't stay on it and it's all grown back so thick so here's another one All right, but this one is definitely not Seville oranges. These are mandarins or tangerines. These are really, really tasty. Like really tasty. So, I'll probably try and plant a few more of these around. But it's weird, isn't it? I mean, I got this giant oak. Here's a mandarin tree right here, or a tangerine or whatever, and then palm tree. So confusing. Anyway, it's really cool out here. I don't sneak around out here though. This is, uh, I'm entirely about making noise. Snakes and everything else, they, they don't have an interest in me or any other person. So they, uh, They'll vacate the area if I come tromping through. That's just fine with me because I don't have an interest in them either. I'm not going to walk all the way down the trail this morning, but some mornings I do. Thankfully, a lot less activity than there was when we first got here. Everybody else was trying to come through here and use this land for their own purposes. We had a bit of a challenge. Yeah, it's a gorgeous morning. It's supposed to get down to 36, though, this week. I think it's Saturday night. I don't know if it's Saturday night or Friday night, Saturday morning, but it's supposed to be down to 36, which is, for Florida, I'm pretty sure, sign of the apocalypse. Or maybe that's snow. I don't know. Look at this. Right, this is crazy. I'm gonna zoom in. Oh, that was the wrong way. Tree limb. <laughs> Just stretching, stretching, stretching all the way out here. It's not touching the ground. It's like a foot off the ground. That's crazy. Right. So much interesting stuff. But a lot of this kind of stuff, a lot of land comes with a lot of work. So there's, there's plenty to be done to make this usable and then to maintain it afterwards. But I think if I'm brave enough to 
move forward into the bigger herbivores and just really commit. Um, the animals can do most of the work and they don't see it as work. They're happy to do it because they're, you know, just eating and doing their thing. As Joel Salatin says, they're embracing the, the pigness of the pig and the cowness of the cow. We've already got chickens embracing the chickenness of the chicken. But uh, just got to, I don't know, really have the, the courage to just surge into it. You know, I've done plenty of reading and watching videos and stuff. But like so many other things, you don't know until you actually do it. And you don't learn as much as you possibly can until you're actually in progress. And now things you read about suddenly make a greater sense than they did before. Sorry, that was, that was very loud. And uh, then you really start to learn and you start to adapt and you start to add your own spin on the processes and, and, and you're adapting everything you read about for your own property and your own animals and your own lifestyle. It's like we were talking the other day about how we need to, you know, get down to a Costco and whatever, and that's a pretty healthy drive. And um, we we're like, man, that that could be, you know, hours and hours and hours, like half a day. And uh, well, what if we're going down there anyway? Why don't we just let's go to let's go to Disney Springs and have lunch down there, and then hit Costco on the way home and. And I thought, I said, we can't do that. I got all these animals. And then I really stopped and thought about it. I thought, you know, the, most of what I'm doing during the day with the animals is I'm just checking on them. They don't, they don't need my help. You know, I, they, they got plenty of food, plenty of water. They're doing their own thing. I just, you know, I'm just checking on them to make sure all is well. So anyway, morning of random thoughts here. All right time for breakfast and then uh to get on with uh the rest of the day which is just going to be i think <laughs> thank you clearing clearing space in the land and just opening it up more and just keep pushing back and then when it dries off when i get rid of the the dew on the grass here i'll i'll move these guys all right